Sino ang isasalang natin ngayon sa hot seat? I think that my emotions are very different from him. You love him or you hate him, pero... Teka hindi, wala naman nag-i-hate siya. Good evening, I'm your host, Kim Bernardo Lokin, and tonight we have a guest whose name is synonymous with controversy. He is on a constant war of words, most of the time harsh words, with those who disagree with his political beliefs. And he's back in the news. He reportedly facilitated the withdrawal of lawyer Jude Sabio of his communication against President Rodrigo Duterte before the International Criminal Court. Attorney Gadon is, as we all know, a staunch supporter of President Duterte. And now, let us welcome to the hot seat the irrepressible attorney Lorenzo Larry Gadon. Good evening, uh, um, Attorney good Larry. Good evening, uh, uh, Kim. Um, uh, thank you for inviting me over. Of course, mm. uh, ikaw ngayon na nga sa hot seat. And they say, ah, oh, nga, that, uh, oh, nga eh. <laughs> And they say na wala nang iba na ngayon na mas bagay sa hot seat kung hindi ikaw because of the issues that uh, yeah. you have now brought up now, di ba? Well, uh, as they say. <laughs> Kaya nga eh. So, let's start. You reportedly facilitated the withdrawal of lawyer Jude Sabio's uh, uh, Yes, complaint. because uh, uh, at the start, he was still agonizing on whether to withdraw or not. Mm -hmm. And uh, I convinced him that uh, I think it's uh, better that you push through with your plans of withdrawing the communication because uh, if your conscience is being bothered by uh, the fact that you, you were just used by uh, the political opposition, mm -hmm. so you might as well uh, uh, spill it out. So yun ang ginawa niya. I see. And uh, he... he uh, Uh, came to my office and then uh, pinag-usapan namin kung ano yung mga gusto niya ilagay doon. Sabi ko, that's good. And yung ganito idea, oh, oh, good din yun. And uh, since he is also a lawyer, and he is a very good lawyer, in fact, he is a very good writer, uh, hindi, ko masyad, hindi ko naman pinakialaman kung ano yung contents ng kanyang statements. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, So, ibig mo sabihin, it was uh, Attorney Sabio who came to you. Yes, yes, yes. And why do you, why do you think, why did he do so? Ano ba? Well, Sabi mo ah, because, uh, nakukonsensya siya, pero what are the factors that you think that led to it? Uh, actually, uh, this is what happened eh. Uh, one time, uh, he was interviewed by uh, uh, Erwin Tulfo uh, over a radio station and over his okay. radio program. Okay. And then, uh, uh, after his interview, ako naman ang tinawagan ni Erwin and was, I was also interviewed on another issue. Eh, uh, si Erwin kasi always calls me the, uh, pa, mga siguro two times a week o minsan three times a week he calls mm -hmm. me. And then, uh, na Erwin, uh, uh, out of the blue, no, sabi niya, Uh, ano kaya ako mag-uusap kayo ni Atty. Sabio? Kasi ano eh, mukhang galit na sa kila Trillanes. Eh. Ibig mo sabihin? So sabihin ko, sabi ko uh, oh, okay, you can give my number to him. No? Ibig sabihin, hindi kayo magkakilala beforehand? Well, at one time, uh, that was in, in 2017, uh, uh, nagkasabay kami sa isang uh, media forum. Kasi alam mo naman ako, laman ako ng media forum. That's palayang correct. Na-invite eh. That's correct. Oo, so doon lang kami nagkaharap. And okay. magkaiba naman ang issue namin. Okay, so when the when the meeting happened between you and the... Uh, uh, we were just uh, uh, civil to each other. Mm. Pero wala kang inkling na yun ang gusto ah, wala, niyang mangyari. Oh, wala. At that time, wala pa. Because, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what what made him uh, decide to uh, uh, turn around mm -hmm. uh, was uh, the utilization of uh, Trillanes and Company about... This uh, videos uh, of uh, Bicoy, itong ang totoong narcolista series of videos. Mm -hmm. Sabi niya, eh, bakit pa ako nire-recruit ni uh, Trillanes na to become a lawyer of Bicoy? And then, yun pala yung ipapagawa nila kay Bicoy. So, uh, na-realize niya, finally, that uh, he was being uh, used. He was being used no? uh, at first, uh, he did not sus suspect it mm -hmm. because... Uh, At, at first, he was engaged as a lawyer for Matubato in his defense in his, of, of, of Matubato's case in, um, in uh, Davao. That's correct. Kasi yan yung isang mga tinatanong nila. One of the big questions is that 
um, lawyer lang siya ni Matubato, Matubato, which means hindi siya ang pwedeng mag-withdraw kung hindi yung complainant. So, uh -oh. please clear this, uh, this ah, uh, ito, issue. Okay, okay. Uh -oh. Because Matubato himself did not directly go to ICC. It was uh, Attorney Sabio who filed that communication. Ah, uh, so to, he took it upon himself to yes, do that. Yes, yes. Uh -oh. So what, what, what was being reported in the ICC was the knowledge of uh, Sabio. I uh, see. Attorney Sabio. Right. So if he withdraws it, then the, the communication doesn't exist anymore. Okay, Although, but... Although, okay. Oo, oh, oh, oh. kasi ang sabi nga nila, uh, under the ICC rules, uh, prosec the prosecution can still proceed after submission, even after a submission was drawn uh, by an external party. So uh, it could also investigate the allegations. Your reaction? Uh, yes. Uh, well, uh, they can uh, interpret it that way. No, but uh, we have to consider first that uh, uh, the ICC has no jurisdiction on us because uh, the Philippines uh, has already withdrawn its membership in the ICC. Mm -hmm. So, wala silang jurisdiction sa atin. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they can create all the noise that they want, but uh, that would mean uh, nothing. Because okay. uh, whatever uh, uh, resolution that they might come up uh, in the end, eh, hindi rin nila ma-enforce dito yon. That's true. Secondly, huh? and... It doesn't really matter even if ICC would proceed the investigation or not. What matters most now is that that case uh, or information filed by uh, Attorney Sabio created a lot of brohaha. Yes. And then it created a lot of uh, uh, political uh, issues uh, against President Duterte mm -hmm. as created and as designed by the political opposition. So now that uh, that, that has been uh, demolished and destroyed, the, the purpose for which the ICC case was filed was already demolished. Which so, in the eyes of the people, it, it becomes now a PR war, a propaganda war. So, so, we have already neutralized that. And, in fact, we have turned it in favor of President Duterte, right. as uh, can be seen. Even if you talk to people on the streets, tatanungin mo, do you trust Duterte? Mm -hmm. uh, sasabihin nila, yes. Yeah, that's true. Um, well, the, we all know that the president is still enjoying an all-time high. Yes, an all-time uh, high. In his rating, which, uh -oh. is, they, which they say is largely unprecedented. Uh -oh. yes. Because, pang ilang taon na niya ngayon, hindi uh -oh. ba? Oo. Uh -oh. Pero they were saying, uh, Attorney Gadon, that the communication daw cannot be expunged. So, I will well, ask you directly, can it be expunged physically, or it erased? Cannot, uh, you, you can probably mean, uh, say that uh, it cannot be expunged. Uh, uh -oh. Physically, because he's admit mo na eh. Oh, oh. It's, it's there na. Si Sabio and uh -huh. storm in in the yes. office of ICC and mm -hmm. get uh, physically the, ano. Mm -hmm. Hindi naman ganon, no. Oh, oh. But what we are trying to uh, say here is that uh, since we need draw na niya yan, the, the thought of, uh, or the, the, the gist or the substance of the statements of Sabio can no longer be used because... Uh, Ako mismo, ayaw ko ng panindigan niyan eh. Ganon yung uh, magiging effect noon. Di parang sinasabi niya na hindi siya nagsabi ng totoo noon. Actually, yun lang nga. Actually. Di ba? Oh. Kasi, uh, at ang paliwanag sa akin ni Jude Sabio, uh, at that time daw, he, he believed that uh, what uh, he was uh, advocating was uh, really true. Mm -hmm. But when he realized that... Uh, he was just being used, or that particular issue is just being used by uh, Trillianis and company. Uh, he realized that it was all for political propaganda. I see. Because after it was filed, they kept, they, they just uh, abandoned him. But so, the purpose pala talaga yun is just to create. To use him at the oh, time, oh, di ba? Oh, oh. Because it was to convenient. Create, to create uh, a kind of scenario that would uh, uh, destroy the image of President Duterte. That's right. Ganon yung plano lang talaga nila. Oo, yun, yun nga ang, pina, ang sinasabi niya na lumalabas ngayon at na-realize niya, hindi oh, ba? Oh, oh. Pero sinasabi nila... I, I, my role is to convince him to... Sige na naman, you come mm -hmm. up na with the... Ano, mm -hmm. so, and then I, I facilitated the, the notarial, mm -hmm. I facilitated the, the sending of the official copy, the original copy to the ICC. Mm -hmm. uh, kasi so, medyo... Uh, he was... Uh, Disheartened. Disheartened. Yes. Yeah. But they are Very saying, low yung moral niya. But oh. they're saying now, Attorney Gadon, that uh, 
ikaw daw kasi ang pinagalaw ng gobyerno. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Hindi ba totoo yun? I, I'd like to correct a uh, misconception that I am very close to President Duterte. No? Mm -hmm. Hindi ako close to President Duterte. Mm -hmm. I support him because I believe in his uh, advocacies. No? I believe in his leadership. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that I am close to him. In fact, uh, may, uh, there are a few... Uh, Uh, events na nakapunta ako. I have pictures with the president. But everybody has pictures with the president. Mm -hmm. eh, he is very accommodating. You approach him and say, pwede magpapicture. Magpapapicture naman sa'yo. So, well, so those pictures with me and the president, they, they mean nothing. So, ibig sabihin and I am not really close to the president. That, oh, okay. oh, he knows me, but, uh, but he, 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 ano, hindi ako magbayabang hindi ka, na. Hindi ka niya inutusan na oh, hindi, sinabi, no. ito, ito ang trabaho mo, no, ito ang gawin hindi, mo. Hindi, wala, wala, wala. Okay. Oh. Sige. And, and not only that, eh. even President Duterte himself doesn't mind his, this particular issue. Mm -hmm. So why would he even think of uh, sending somebody to uh, talk to Sabio? Walang ganun. Oo nga. Hindi nga niya pinapansin yan eh. Bali, wala sa kanya yan eh. Alam mo naman attitude ni Presidente That's dito. That's true. Oh, Magdakdak na kayong gusto nyo. Wala akong pakialam. Wala siyang pakialam. That's true. Okay. <laughs> Now, there's also another group. This is the National Union of People's Lawyers. Uh, 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 And they said that even if he withdraws his communication, the ICC prosecution mm. can st or the prosecutor can still access it. And plus, miski nag-withdraw na yung ICC, uh, ay, ang Philippines sa ICC, uh -oh. eh, hindi pa naman daw um, nag-withdraw din ng Senate. Eh, since mm. uh, double yon eh. So, kailangan i-ratify ng Senate at hindi nila ni-ratify, which uh -oh. means we are still a part of it. But, Attorney Gadon, before you answer that, we will pause for a break. Please stay with us. Good evening and welcome back to the hot seat. Our guest for tonight, Attorney Lorenzo Larry Gadon. So, uh, Attorney Larry, uh, the question that was left hanging a while ago, mm -hmm. hindi ba? So, sabi nila, the prosecutor daw of the ICC can still na access it, di ba? Kahit na iwinidraw ni yeah. Sabio. Number two, since even if the president withdrew, Uh, the Philippines from the ICC, kailangan pa ng ratification ng Senate kasi ganun din yung process ng pagpasok natin. Your reaction? Well, uh, since the Senate uh, has not uh, uh, revoked or expressed any revocation of the wishes of the President that we withdraw from uh, the ICC, mm -hmm. well, that is a, uh, uh, a sign of approval by the Senate. No? Although it has not Silent been approval. Ganun. Silent approval. <laughs> no? And uh, not only that, Uh, any organization naman for that matter can uh, come here and then uh, mm -hmm. uh, conduct some research or investigation o uh, mga ganyan-ganyan. Mm -hmm. And uh, it doesn't really matter naman eh kung ano man maging findings nila eh. Oh, Sa bagay, kaya, ano? ano oh, that's, ang ang, ang that's nakakatawa true. niyan, when, when, di, when this uh, uh, information was filed, was first filed by uh, Attorney Sabio, mm -hmm. They hail this as if this is uh, the end of the career of uh, President Duterte, that uh, this will bring his downfall. They hail this as uh, something that is so, uh, uh, yung uh, parabang sort of Damocles against oh. the President Duterte, parabang, parabang uh, it is already the end of his uh, days, no? Ganyan. And yet it did not happen. And, and, and yet, ngayon, that uh, uh, Attorney Sabio has uh, withdrawn it, Sinasabi naman nila, hindi bali wala naman 'yan eh. Hindi naman bali wala naman yung complaint ni ano eh ni Dute, ni ni Attorney Sabio eh. So you can just uh, you can you can see Ano ba that, talaga? Ano ba oh, talaga? Oh. Importante ba 'yan o hindi? Sabi niyo nun, sobrang importante, sobrang <laughs> ingay ngayon noon. Ngayon naman sabi niyo, hindi bali wala naman 'yan eh. Okay, oh. last na oh. on that topic. Oh. Sabi nila, kaya lang daw winidraw ni Attorney Sabio is because his fees were not paid. No, ang ang uh, Tama. Uh, he, he was not really paid on handling the Matubato and Las Cañas cases. But in so far as the ICC uh, case is concerned, uh, uh, Attorney Sabio, as he explained to me, he, he did it uh, uh, voluntarily or, uh, oh, okay. or, or uh, with, with, uh, he cooperated in, in, in filing this information without any arrangement on payments of fees. 
Ah, oh, so, oh. so ang yung, yung nirereklamo niya, yung hindi siya binayaran on the Bato-Bato and Las Cañas cases. Ah, okay. Not so, because of this ICC case. Ah, okay. So, uh, that's that's very clear now, no? Oh, Kasi, oh. syempre, these are the issues that, you know, questions that need to be answered, di ba? Oh, 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 if you oh, want oh, to oh. find out kung talagang ginagawa ba ito ni Attorney Sabio because oh, oh. of the things that uh, you mentioned or ginagamit lang siya ng gobyerno. Ginagamit oh, lang oh. talaga rin. Ginamit talaga siya ng, ano, ng, ng opposition. Ng opposition. Oo. Oh. Oh, oh. but, but the government, the administration has not, nothing to do with this. Anong reaction? Hindi na nga, hindi nga naman nila pe, pinapansin niya. Eh. Oo oh. oh, nga. Attorney Gadon, anong reaction ng uh, Palacio? Malacanang Palace? Well, uh, I have when read when this morning that mm -hmm. uh, uh, si uh, Secretary uh, Salpanelo, Attorney Salpanelo, has issued, issued uh, a statement that the in uh, that uh, uh, something like uh, that uh, the, op the the detractors of President Duterte are now being uh, uh, uncovered. Ganyan, no? yung, yung, the, the, and that and also uh, Secretary Martin Andanar he also issued a statement. No, so meron na rin sila mga reactions. No? Oo nga. And oh. of course, uh, since this... Pero hindi this... ko naman nakakausap yung... Paminsan-minsan, nagkikita ko, pero... Pero it doesn't mean that uh, you are coordinating with them on no, this... No, uh... okay, of so, course. Okay, uh, we, we'd like to make oh. that clear, di ba? Oo, oh, wala, oh, wala sila kinalaman dyan. Actually, It's all Larry Gadons. Oo oh, nga. As a matter of fact, <laughs> uh, I know Attorney Larry Gadon as espousing the federalism movement. Yes, yes, hindi yes. Hindi ba? So, I eh, am one of the leaders of the... Oh, a big group is uh, advocating for federalism. That's true. Uh, and, alam mo, we recently had as our guest the DILG Undersecretary. Uh, yes, kasama oh, ko siya sa grupo. Jonathan Malaya. Yeah. Tinanong oh. namin sa kanya, is federalism movement dead? Is the movement dead? Kasi mukhang hindi na priority. Uh -oh. Even before, when uh, the president, before the president became president, that was his priority. Yes. But now, three years later, parang nawala na. Ano uh, sa palagay mo? Well, actually, the, the movement is not totally dead because uh, there are still uh, groups that are still advocating for uh, federalism. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just that uh, uh, probably the president uh, uh, is less motivated now because uh, nahalata niya na yung Senate uh, uh, would not uh, approve it. Mm -hmm. uh, but in so far as the House is concerned, if you will remember, the, mm -hmm. during the time of uh, former President uh, and then uh, Speaker, Speaker uh, Gloria, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, they were able to, to pass uh, a resolution or uh, the, the passage of uh, the approval in the lower house of a revised constitution, mm -hmm. which includes federalism. However, uh, Hindi na tuloy yan because yung Senate, ang issue nila is whether they would vote as one or separately. But that is an old issue, Attorney Oo. Gadon. Uh, I mean, Kaya hindi na natuloy kasi siguro nakita ng Presidente, eh, itong mga senador na ito talagang uh, uh, at all costs, eh, hindi nila papayagan. Oo nga, they because are the... that particular, very uh, petty issue of whether they will vote as one or separately, uh, separate, or separately eh, hindi nila ma-resolve. That's but ako, in my view, it should be as one. Voting as one, right? Yes, because this is not an ordinary law. This is a constitution. Okay. This is unlike a bill that will pass the Congress side yes. and then uh, it should be passed also by the Senate before it goes to the office of the President. Unfortunately, Attorney Gadon, the President is skeptical. Siya uh -oh. mismo, skeptical niya that federalism could be achieved before his term ends. Uh -oh. So, um, do you think that uh, we can still salvage the situation? I uh, honestly, no, I, I don't think so, mm -hmm. because uh, as we can see the uh, the new con the 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 current Congress now, mm -hmm. instead of uh, pushing for this uh, constitutional reforms of federalism, mm -hmm. ang pinupos nila na na constitutional amendments pertain to their terms. Mm -hmm. In increase nila ng five years term ang 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 uh, bawat term nila and three terms. So, I think this is the, the death of democracy. Kasi 15 years ka na sa pwesto, hindi ka na mapapalitan. Yun ang, yun ang sina... Actually, Ay, yun, dalawang, yun, yun, dalawang yun, yun. term lang yata, hindi, hindi tatlo. Three terms. So, three terms na tigpa so five, five years. years. Okay, according to Undersecretary Jonathan Malaya of the uh -oh. DILG, um, those were one of the parang micro steps that uh -oh. they were taking towards 
the federalism. Kumbaga, with the end goal of having federalism, but a lot of people don't agree. No, How about uh, you? Malayo yun, malayo. Mm. I mean, uh, what has terms got to do with, you know, with, with the structure of federalism? But sabi niya, may, ano, yung economic provisions, yun din ang kanilang tinatakal. Eh. eh, wala rin naman eh. I mean, uh, wala, until now, no? O, ilang taon na. Mm -hmm. Yung itong, uh, ano ba to? Pang ilang congress ito? Pang, pang ilang congress na ngayon? Uh -huh. Ano ba? 17? 19? 18 ha? congress? 18. Uh -huh. O, ilang taon na sila dyan? Eh, ako, One year na. During my time, uh -huh. Attorney Gadon, uh -huh. in the 12 Congress ang nung nagsimula ako, uh -huh. we already had talk of uh, changing the Constitution. The economic provisions. And uh -huh. e especially the economic provisions. Uh -huh. But at the same time, yung Constitution, ay eh, mula no, hanggang ngayon, nakailang Kongreso na ba? Oo, oh, oh, wala. Well, ilan uh -huh. na, anim na. Oh. Uh -huh. But in fairness to the uh, former President uh, GMA, mm -hmm. she was able to uh, to pass that uh, law. Hanggang eh, doon lang the, sa lower oh, house. Hanggang sa no? lower house. Oh, but you cannot do anything about the Senate kasi. Oh, eh, ayaw nga itakil ng Senate. Eh. Ni, hindi nga nila binasa. Eh. Mm -hmm. Do oh. you think that uh, yung lack of information and the understanding of the regular people, the citizens, could be a primary reason for the uh, failure? I don't think so. Because... Uh, uh, Diba? Ang, ang, ang bago mo naman ilahad sa tao yan, kailangan ipasa muna ng, ng Congress. And that means Congress, ha, of both lower house and the Senate. Pag hindi nila pinasayan, how, what, what are you going to explain to the people? Mm -hmm. Eh kasi baka ma'am, yan ini-explain mo, hindi pala naman, hindi yun i-adapt or probably it might be amended by the Senate before they pass it as a, uh, a constitutional amendment. Actually, tama yun. Hindi ano? yun, Ano? Uh, in fact, uh, during our days of uh, uh, going around the country explaining the benefits of federalism, hindi, uh, we, we stuck to the basic uh, uh, information or principles of federalism. We did not go into the details because we are thinking that uh, hindi, na hindi pa naman natin na. alam kung ano yung magiging details. Eh. Right. So we were just explaining to uh, the general people that the general terms, the general right. concept of federalism. Oo, pero Attorney Gadon, totoo yun. Ano? I, do, I don't also um, think that uh, federalism will be passed. Yes. Uh, I mean, if you look at, at the present, at this, at this present Congress, and, <laughs> and during the term of the this term of the ah, president, yes, yes, di ba? Yes, yes. Okay, ang sabi naman ng iba, kaya naman daw ikaw ay hindi na masyadong hot sa federalism because yes. you are espousing for revgov or revolutionary ah, yes. type uh, actually, of ako government. Gusto ko oh, yung revgov teka muna. Na. Gusto mo yung RevGov, explain natin yan, but we will uh, come back for the explanation of Attorney Larry Gadon. Please stay with us. Mga isyung pinag-uusapan, mga palitang laman ng pahayagan, impormasyong dapat niyong malaman, tatalakayin, pupusisiin, at hihimayin ni Mario Garcia kasama ang kanyang mga panauhin sa harap ng bayan. Face Off! Welcome back to the hot seat. Our guest for tonight is attorney Lorenzo Larry Gadon, the very controversial lawyer as they say, especially now, ha. Huh? So ngayon, apart from attorney Sabio, RevGov naman ang uh, ini-espouse mo. Yes, Totoo ba 'yan? Uh, yes, uh, actually uh, I've been uh, very supportive of uh, RevGov. Uh, uh, pero hindi ako leader ng grupo na 'yan, ha. Mm -hmm. uh, but when uh, there was uh, a time that uh, a nationwide uh, rally was uh, conducted for the RevGov uh, advocacy. Mm -hmm. uh, I was assigned in Baguio to talk about the uh, RevGov uh, in, in Baguio. But no? they were saying, Attorney Gadon, nakakatakot daw itong uh, shift to a revolutionary type of government. But, Do you agree? Uh, they, they, we have to explain siguro sa mga tao na mm -hmm. yung pag sinabi mong RevGov, yung revolutionary government, mm -hmm. para kasi nakakatakot yung sinasabi natin revolutionary government. Isn't eh. it? Oh. Para ba kasi parang barilan, patayan, mag hindi ganon. Kundi you are just going to change, to, to effect a radical change in the system of government. Like for example, uh, you remember during the time of uh, Corazon Aquino? Yes. Uh, uh, they set aside the constitution and uh, uh, issued the uh, presidential decrees, uh, executive orders. That was and, also under a uh, actually, revolutionary uh, government? That was under a revolutionary government and under dictatorship. Mm -hmm. Actually, si Cory yung dictator, hindi si Marcos. Ganun ba? <laughs> oh. eh, eh, ito yung nangyari dyan eh. Uh -oh. So, uh, and then, 
uh, she appointed uh, 50 delegates for the uh, revision of the Constitution. Uh, mm -hmm. And then they came up with this uh, 1987 Constitution. Mm -hmm. So, yun lang. Ang, ang, ang mangyayari kapag, kasi kapag kami revgob, uh, you are setting aside all the the bad races of the previous uh, system of government and then mm -hmm. you install a new one mm -hmm. that would fit or that would that would solve the problems of the country mm -hmm. eh, like for example now we are having problems with uh, electricity right. water mm -hmm. um, what else uh, uh, oil and uh, a lot of things no oh, like yes. peace and order yes and uh, the the hands and of the president the, are tied up no that's he, right. cannot, he cannot really enforce what he wants no mm -hmm. because uh, his hands are tied because of these uh, limitations under the constitution uh, so ang pinakamaganda niyan magdeclare ka na lang talaga ng revgob and then declare that all these uh, contracts with the concessioners contracts with this uh, uh, electric or power uh, distributors uh, be voided all, oh, all and then they take over ng Be, state yan. Sobra namang radical yan, Atter, no, attorney Gato. Pero kasi... Di ba pwedeng it, review na lang muna at automatic review? Well, as at, he this was time, saying now, at this yeah? time that uh, uh, they are studying uh, it and uh, there is actually now a uh, uh, draft uh, contract uh, for the revision of the new contract. Mm -hmm. Eh... Pag-aralan nila yan kung hindi nila tatanggapin ang, ang di ba ang sabi ni ni presidente. Kung hindi nyo tatanggapin, then I will take over. Kung oh. hindi nila tatanggapin, of oh, course, hindi ba? That is yes. already uh, a concept of a revgo. I see. Okay, oh, oh. how about yung fears naman ng business community na because of this, it will set us back again ah, hindi, so many years? Tingin ko hindi kasi... This is public utility yan eh. Mm -hmm. Hindi naman ang pinapakailaman ng gobyerno yung aliba, distribution ng mga damit or benta ng asukal. Eh, sabi or, nila, ahente lang daw sila. Hindi naman sila talagang water concessionaire. Ahente lang daw well, sila. Actually, ang nangyari dyan, parang taga-compute lang sila ng bayad eh. And then, pinatungan talaga nilang pinatungan yung bayad. There were lots of violations committed by the water concessionaires. Like, for example, they, they uh, are obliged to... Uh, put up uh, water treatment facilities which they did not hanggang na, hanggang pero na nang pero na sila na, oh, oh. That's and that's wala rin namang improvement wala namang mga new water uh, uh, supply natin mm -hmm. ang ating water supply kung ano yung iniwan pa ni President Marcos yun pa rin yun hanggang ngayon yes hanggang ngayon mm -hmm. and the, the, the level of water supply that we have now is good only for 1997 level of population of Metro Manila. 1997, what year we are in eh, now? 2020, 2020 na tayo na. ngayon. Oo oh. oh, nga, tama. Oh. So, actually, yan ang isa sa mga hottest. And we will invite you siguro for that particular uh -oh. topic. Kasi that's a new topic in itself, di ba? Uh -oh. But in the House of Representatives, going back a little bit, uh, Attorney Gadon, yun na nga, according to uh, the Congress, they, their plan, they want to amend the 1987 Constitution, and uh, the, one of the proposed amendments is the way we vote for our president and vice president. Uh -oh. Diba, meron nagsasabi, well, I like oh, that. Mm -hmm. vote natin both as, as one. Oo, one. Oh, oh. oh, oh, bakit? Bakit maganda eh, Kasi yun? ang nangyayari ngayon, ang nagiging role ng vice president is to uh, contradict the president, to uh, damage the reputation of the president, and to wait for the death of the president or... Uh, to wait that uh, he be declared as uh, incapacitated so that uh, the vice president can, can take, take over. over. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yun ang nagiging yun ang hinihintay na yun. Eh. And the vice president goes around all the churches in the country You're talking praying. about our current <laughs> vice president now. <laughs> well, in, uh, uh, in general terms only. Ah, in general uh, terms. Pero I'm sure uh, naghahangad din yan na makaupo. Uh, <laughs> o so, kung hindi man siya mismo, uh, because Lenny, ano, si, sino ito? Si Renny Lubredo. Uh, the Vice President of, Robredo, of, yes. Obviously, uh, is a puppet of the Liberal Party. Oo nga, nako. Medyo umiinit na lalo yung mga issue uh, natin, ano? And to think, hindi naman ito dapat kasama sa topic uh, natin. Uh, And igigess namin siya, tatanong ko sa kanya kung uh, ano yung... You can, uh, you can tell her that according to Larry Gadon, <laughs> you are a puppet of uh, the Liberal Party. Okay. Uh, so, let's go back a little bit. We will digress again a little bit, ano? And uh, now... Balik tayo sa proposed amendments din ng Kongreso kasi uh -oh. mainit ka rin dito eh. Uh -oh. Dahil sabi mo nga, inuna nyo yung uh, term limits. nila yung terms nila. Actually, that's, that would be the death of democracy. Kasi alam, pag nakaupo na sila ng mm -hmm. first term, eh malaki na advantage nila eh. Sure. No? 
So, hindi na sila mapapalitan. Eh, susunod na term, that's 10 years. And then, susunod na term, 5 years, 15 years na sila. Mm -hmm. And after 3 terms, ang gagawin nila, tatakbo sila na ibang position. And then, babalik na naman doon, another 15 oh, years man, na naman. Ginagamit, so, wala nang ano eh. Ginagamit nila ngayon, wala actually, nang, party uh, list eh. Uh, wala nang, wala nang, ano, wala nang, uh, uh, avenue for the new talents. Oh, oh, Kasi kung, alam mo, alam mo yan, ano, mm -hmm. uh, Kim, ano, mm -hmm. kung talagang magaling ka, in three years, marami kang magagawa. Mm -hmm. oh, hindi, hindi issue dyan yung number of years, eh. Oh. And to think, na, actually, the total is nine years. Nine years, years. Oh, oh. So, which means, kaya lang, ang tingin ko, ako, uh, you know, I, I would uh, digress a little bit on, on that, ano. For me, uh, my understanding is that, you know, three years is too short uh, to implement whatever you need to implement as a local official. Uh -oh. Congressman, mayor, governor. Uh -oh. Tapos, kasi you don't know if... Yeah, I, I would agree that the increase yung term ng uh, local officials uh -oh. to four years. Uh, hindi three years. Uh -oh. Kasi yung one year, yan uh -oh. yung uh, ano eh, adjustment period eh. Right. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Actually, six months is a good adjustment period. Depende actually sa... Ano, sa Lahat so, sa municipality, hindi eh. <laughs> Pati yung resources din ng, uh, oh, oh, ano, oh, ng oh, local oh. where you are in, di ba? Oh. Alam mo naman, hindi naman lahat mayayaman eh. Oh. Hindi naman, lahat ng probinsya mayayaman. So, Meron din. So, hindi yun about term, kundi mm -hmm. yung resources. Exactly. So, oh. but it's still about term. Kahit pa paano, kulang yung oras ba? Oh. Kulang manghingi. Pero hindi Pero, ko naman sinasabi na nasangayon ako sa 15 years. Oo, oh, oh, sobra oh, na yun. No? Maybe, um, Dapat kasi, nga yan. Ako, ako, ako uh, Kima, ang, ako ang uh -oh. idea ko, kung, si, kung senador, dapat one term lang. Kasi kung meron ka ng five, uh, four years, i-increase natin four years, one term lang, no okay. re-election. Because kung, kung talaga magaling ka, ibuhos mo na lahat dun sa four years kung ano yung nalalaman mo. Oo nga, oh. eh, pero ato ni Gadon. Eh, total lawmaking naman yan, eh. hindi naman yan yung uh, implementation or uh, you are not an executive of uh -oh. a town or a province. Eh. Right. Oh, so kung may naisip ang bagong batas, eh di i-introduce mo in that four years, kulang pa ba yun? Actually, oh. more than that, ano, ang tanong dyan, yung mga senador ba natin, dapat ba national sila o state or regional? What is your... Well, uh, actually, ang, ang, that's one of the advantages of uh, federalism because yes. they can be elected uh, per region. Or uh, so yeah, that, in the U.S. Uh, kasi are, state senators uh, state, yun eh. State senators. Oh. So that uh, all regions are represented. Right. But uh, alam mo naman, itong ating sistema ngayon, kung sino yung artista, sikat, or uh, mapera, Sila yung nananalo. Oo nga, that's, oh. that's sad, ano? Oh, that's I mean, okay sad. lang kung ang... Tapos ano, meron ka pang SWS, Pals Asia, Smartmatic, Comilic. Wala na talagang chance yung mga Oo nga. Eh, matatalinong mga elat, kagaya mo. Eh, lahat ng mga sila... Ang mga na-elect dyan sa Senate ngayon, karamihan, bobo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, eto na yun ang tanong ko sa'yo. Is there a need to go back to the two-party system from yes, the multi-party yes, uh, yes, yes, that we have? And you yes. will explain that after we pause for a break. Please stay with us. Hi everyone, I am Zihir Basho and welcome to the new Clark City where the 30th Southeast Asian Games will be held this November. Dito gaganepin ang tagisa ng mga atleta mula sa iba't ibang bansa ng Southeast Asian region. Welcome back to the hot seat. Our guest for tonight is uh, still the ever controversial attorney Lorenzo Larry Gadon. So, uh, attorney Larry, medyo mainit init na talaga yung hot seat. Oh, Kinapainit mo yung programa namin. <laughs> but okay, yung uh, question that was uh, left hanging, um, do you, why do you agree to a uh, two-party or a multi-party? I mean... Uh, uh, Which one of the, the two first? The two-party system is better. Kailangan bumalik tayo Oo, sa two-party. Kailangan bumalik tayo dyan. Kasi, ang nangyayari ngayon, ano eh, lahat balibing eh. Mm -hmm. Lahat nagbabalimbingan, ganyan. Oh. If I cannot get what I want in this political party, then I will move to another party. Mm -hmm. So, yung nawawala na talaga dyan yung nationalism or what patriotism. Kasi, ang nangyayari, yung self-interest. Mm -hmm. you, you, you are no longer espousing what the uh, party has uh, uh, espoused as an advocacy. 
Oh. Kung di kong, eh, wala pa kayo alam sa advocacy. May, may pakialam is my uh, self-interest. If you cannot give um, me, if you cannot, this party cannot give me my, my self-interest, then I will move to another party. Oh, oh. So, nawawala, nagiging patronage politics na pati. That's true. And uh, that is really uh, not the most ideal. Nakita mo naman uh, kung ano nangyayari, oh, di ba? Oo, nakikita mo. Oh, oh. That's e, at saka, uh, one example, nag-bloat na na nag-bloat yung ating national budget because of this. Oo nga eh. Oh. Uh, and, If you will remember, during the time of President Marcos, magkano lang ang budget nun? Hindi ko alam oh. kasi, Marcos, oh, oh, pero, maybe malit pa ako nun, Attorney Gato, malit ay, for pa example, tayo. <laughs> And then, uh, lang. For example, oh, oh. ha? Yes, yes, oh. yes. For the whole term of President Marcos ng uh, uh, itong uh, 20 years, ano? 20 mm -hmm. years. Ang naging total budget lang niya is about 400 billion. 20 okay. years. And... Nandiyan na yung salaries ng teachers, salaries ng soldiers, salaries mm -hmm. ng mga government employees, mm -hmm. all the projects ng mga bridges, mm -hmm. schools, hospitals, nandiyan na lahat. Mm -hmm. 400 billion in, in 20 years. No? Mm -hmm. Nung pag-upo ni Corey, in 6 years, 1.7 uh, trillion. Di in ba, just 6 years. Di ba pwede At wala, naman, wala kang makita <laughs> na ano bang bago nila na pagawa except for the Ortigas EDSA flyover. Oh nga. Sige, oh. we will we will not go into that uh, attorney Gadot. Nag-bloat nang nag-bloat. Oh yung, nga eh. Ano. Alam mo, naiintindihan ko yan and I know that you have many advocacies. Kaya lang in the process of doing so, sabi nga nila eh nagkakaroon ka daw ng ano, you get into trouble because hindi well, ka <laughs> oh eh, di ba? Uh, you have several disbarment cases. Oh, bala, uh, bali wala na may disbarment na yan. Eh, sabi well, nila, again? you always use offensive language, especially well, sa kalaban mo. Uh, de yung, yung nagkaroon ako ng suspension ng 3 oh, months. Oo, na-suspend ka oh, pa. Kasi, ano ba nangyari doon? Uh, ano nga, that was, uh, do you know that that case was uh, 10 years ago pa or 11 or 12 years ago pa yun? Mm -hmm. uh, meron akong kalaban na lawyer na, mm -hmm. na ginamitan ko ng insulting language doon sa pleadings kasi nga sobrang nakakatawa yung kanyang mga ano, arguments. So, mm -hmm. I, I demolished the arguments through some kind of insulting uh, Phrases. So, mea culpa ka pala. Oh, oh, oh. Okay lang naman sa akin yun. And so, uh, wala namang ano yun eh. And then all of a sudden, hinukay nitong IBP. Mm -hmm. And uh, binigyan ako ng suspension. And tapos, ang, ang uh, napunta pa sa division ni Justice uh, Antonio Carpio. Mm -hmm. eh, alam mo naman, si uh, Justice Carpio, palagi kong tinutuligsayan sa media, di ba, na he cannot be appointed as uh, a Chief Justice yes. because uh, he is not the most senior in so far as the number of years of uh, service in the judiciary. Mm -hmm. no? Kasi palagi nila sinasabi, most senior daw si Justice Carpio kasi... 19 years na sa... Bukod sa, sa most senior, sabi nila siya daw yung pinaka-qualified. Oo, oh, hindi, kalukuhan yun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yung, yung, yung ano, yung... Uh, so, alam ko na kung bakit ka nasususpend. Oo, oh. oh, eh, akalain mo sinusupend ako ng 3 months. Ito pa nakakatawa. <laughs> I was in Russia in uh, June in the trip of President Duterte. Oh. And then somebody called me from the media. At Tony, may suspension ka. Anong masasabi? Ha? Hindi ko alam yan. Ha? Sabi nga, at tungkol saan kaso? So, pinadala nila sa akin ganyan. Ah, okay lang yan. Sabi nga ganyan. And then, uh, after uh, Russia, di mm -hmm. pag-uwi ko dito, tinitingnan ko, asan yung suspension? Wala akong wala wala makita. Oh, hindi naman nila pinapadala. So, you know what I did? Mm -hmm. Nagpunta ako ng Supreme Court. Oh, here, suspension yun na ako ngayon mismo. Voluntary oh, suspension. Voluntary suspension. Uh -huh. So, yung three months. So, I, I, I count it from October 25 to January 25. Sabi nila, oh, uh, Sabi ko, hindi ko pa natatanggap suspension. Oh, sige, akin na. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sabi nila, ano daw yun Luko -luko eh. Lukulukong pala kayo eh. Napaka, <laughs> napakalaking... And not, and not napaka only that, it's not an issue to me. You know okay. why? <laughs> For at least five years, I've not been practicing really in courts. I, mm -hmm. I don't really appear in courts. I don't really litigate. I don't really... Uh, engage into lawyering except for these political cases of Sereno, itong yes. kay Bicoy, Oo. itong ano, hindi ko nahanap buhay sa, pag abogado sa, sa tingin mo, kaya ka na-suspend dahil doon sa um, kay uh, Chief Justice Sereno, di ba? Oh, at saka galit na galit sa akin kasi yung IBP. Dahil? Ay, dahil di ba, sinama ko sila doon sa demanda ng uh, sedition case sa uh, Uh, with Bicoy, mm -hmm. o lahat sila in-implead ko, yung mga mm -hmm. officials ng uh, IBP. Hindi ka daw nag-MCLE pa rin. Uh, at saka, ito pa, hindi, yung, yung, yung pumasok na new president ng uh, IBP, IBP oh, oh. yung asawa niya nag-apply sa Court of Appeals. Ay, di ba, hinarang ko din yun. Nag-object ako talaga dyan. Nag-ingay ako ng gusto. Mm -hmm. O di, she was not appointed. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Kaya galit na galit sa akin yung mga yan. Ah, so, ibig mo sabihin, ginagamit ng IBP yung uh, institution for personal agenda? Yes, so agenda? actually ngayon, yung mga, ay, uh, may mga tatlo na disbarment cases, oh. hindi ko pinag-iintindihan. So ka, what? No? Baka, baka masuspend ka na naman dahil <laughs> sa pinagsasabi mo, di ba? Oh. Hindi kaya... alam mo, ano, ede, ano yan, ah, kung baga sa ano, I don't really mind, isuspend nila ako, ano, hindi naman bali wala sa akin yan. Oh. Oh, of the... so because, and, oh. and, and what is more important thing is this, I was suspended for uh, using uh, some... In, Uh, offensive, language. offensive language against uh, my opponent lawyer. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to remember that I was not suspended due to stupidity. <laughs> no? Like uh, itong ginawa ni Chel Jok, no? uh, stupidity of filing uh, a, a writ of kalikasan without attaching a judicial affidavit and without attaching the authority of the clients. Okay. Oh, you're not stupid talaga. <laughs> oh. so, If I will be suspended out of stupidity, nakakahiya na, 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 talaga yun. Oh. Oh, nga. So ngayon, eto na. Let's go, I'll move on to oh. your uh, future plans. Because oh. uh, of course, hindi naman lingid sa lahat na you have tried uh, you know, your hand and you are eyeing the Senate uh, yes. seat, right? Oh. And uh, the last elections, midterm elections, what's your second um, Yes. Second, I um, really believe chance? that I won. You know why? Mm -hmm. In the total votes of overseas voting, mm -hmm. I was number 10. And uh, when I campaigned, no, I, I went all over the country. Pinagkakaguluhan ako talaga ng mga tao. Mm -hmm. And uh, lahat, uh, halos say, yung, yung lahat ng puntahan ko, uh, kuminsan sa, uh, ano, sa mga malls, nakatayo ako ng three hours. Kasi walang tigil ang dating ng tao ng mga kakasel. Eh, dito lang sa office nyo eh. Di ba? Pagdating ko kanina, lahat nagpapag-picture. Anywhere I go, nangyayari yan. Lahat nagsasabi sa akin na ano, binoto ka namin. Imagine, in 2016, when I mm -hmm. first ran for uh, the Senate, mm -hmm. hindi ako ng ampanya, hindi ako kilala. No? Mm -hmm. And yet, I got 2.7 million votes. Mm -hmm. And then, itong uh, 2019, 2019, kung kailan ako sikat na sikat, kung kailan ako umikot, kung kailan ako nagkampanya, kung kailan ako inindorse si BBM, inindorse ako ni Amy, inindorse ako ni Imelda Marcos, inindorse ako ng kung sino-sino, I had uh, lots of uh, uh, allies in the provinces. Ang nakuha kong boto, 3.3 million. Parang nakakapagtaka. Parang pagtaka. Oh, oh. Dinaya talaga ako. Eh, eh, yung, ang, ang number one na culprit dyan, yung SWS sa Kapals Asia. Mga sinungaling yung mga hayop na yan. Eh. Mga ano yan eh. Hindi, mga, actually, that one, some people would allege that they are doing mind conditioning. Pero ah, kung, mind conditioning kung, talaga pero yan. Pero kung pandadaya, at oh. liga doon, wala naman silang kinalaman Mag sa boto. Ay, hindi, magkakasabot yan. Magkakasabot yan. Ganun ang ba? gagawin muna ng SWS sa Kapals Asia, sasabihin nila lang yung top 20. And then, mm -hmm. i-announce yun ng mga yellow media mm -hmm. na ito yung top 20. Oh, and then, yun na yung nasusundan ng Smartmatic. Oh. Uh, Makakasabot yung mga hayop na yun eh. Eh so kung ito na lang ang, ang tanong, oh. kung nagkaroon ka ng pagkakataon at inappoint ka ni President Duterte, for example, sa Comelec, anong oh. unang-unang mong gagawin? Eh di papalitan ko yung Smartmatic. <laughs> yan yung unang-unang gagawin dyan. Oo. Oh. Oo. Oh, oh. Dahil kung ako ilang... i-appoint. Although, hindi... Uh, You're alam, not asking for that. Uh, I'm oh, not obviously. asking for any yes, position. In fact, uh, yun nga yung sinasabi ng iba eh. When I filed the impeachment case against Sereno, attorney Sereno, sinasabi nila I was just interested in being appointed. Sabi ko, hindi. O, oh, nung natanggal si Sereno, o, oh, nagpa-appoint ba ako? I didn't even ask for, not even for a uh, uh, gasoline expense. O, oh. I understand. Ibig sabihin no. Hindi nga ako humihingi na kahit ano sa Malacañang. Sa Malacañang. Oh. And I'm not close to them. I'm not close to anyone mm -hmm. in Malacañang. Although But, some of them are my friends like uh, Actually some of them oh, are our our friends. friends. Oh, oh. Pero wala akong hinihingi sa kanila na ano. Oo. Oh, oh. Na position so, or what? Oo. Oh, oh. So hindi mo ginagawa ito dahil gusto mong magkaroon ng position. No, oh, hindi. Oh. Talagang para lang sa bayan ito dahil nakita ko After EDSA 1 kasi, talagang na-damage talaga ang bansa. The EDSA 1 and the Aquinos destroyed the country. No? And, uh, <laughs> okay. so, uh, Very harsh words, oh, Attorney Gadon. Ang, ang may kagagawa ng lahat ng problema natin ng bayan <laughs> ay ang mga Aquino at itong EDSA 1. Oh, you nga. can just imagine, example, this traffic. Oh. No? E, alam mo ba na meron ng plano si Presidente Marcos ng 7 rounds of LRT in 1984 pa? In 1985, we were able to put up our the, the first, first ever uh -oh. LRT in Asia. Mm -hmm. no? Unang-una tayo dyan. O ano nangyari? Nung napatalsik nila sa si Presidente Marcos, 
Lahat ng plano ni Presidente Evans, tinigil ni Cory. Right. Anong nangyari? Walang public transportation. Nagbilihan ng mga kotse ang tao. Ikaw, anim ang kotse mo. <laughs> oh. Di ba? Oh. Even yung ordinary families, no? Ang mm -hmm. may kotse. So, eh, uh, ba't ka kasi, ba't kasi nila ginagawa? Eh, wala kang masakyang matino. There is no effective mass Bus transport, transport oh, oh. na tama doon. Alam like, mo, yeah, that's also. Awesome. Hong Kong, even yung president sa mga kumpanya doon, naka-Amerikana. Oh, naka-Amerikana, sumasakay oh, ng subway. Sumasakay ng subway. Oh, oh, that's oh. true. Diba? Even in New York, diba? you can see that, even the top executives. So, ibig sabihin, igigess kita ulit pag traffic ang usapan natin. Oh, oh. Oh, hindi ba? Actually, oh. meron, akong, meron akong solution sa traffic. Oh, teka muna. Wag mo oh. muna sabihin yun. Dahil, ibang issue na tayo ngayon oh. sa next issue. So, yun, yun nga, going back to EDSA 1, yes. yan talaga nagpahamak sa atin. Okay. Etong problema natin sa kuryente, bakit mahal ang kuryente? EDSA 1 din, <laughs> Cory Aquino. Oh, Because when she stopped <laughs> uh, the Bataan Nuclear Power oh. Plant, and in-stop lahat ng mga projects ni Marcos, nagkaloko-loko na yung kuryente natin. Okay. Oh. Ito ang last question ngayon, kasi wala na daw tayong oras sa Ator ni Gadon. Although, I would still want uh, to ask you all the others, no? Last question, um... What do your family say? Do they uh, are not are they not afraid because you are uh, <laughs> irrepressible? Uh, do they not say sometimes na dahan dahan lang, uh, daddy? My, my wife, ng, my wife, uh, uh, my wife uh, so, always cautions me. Uh, uh, pero yung mga anak ko, uh, okay lang. Okay lang sa kanila. Uh, you, they like it. It is your uh, wife uh, that. Uh, 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 ano naman ang inexplain mo sa asawa mo? Inexplain ko na I had to do this kasi wala namang ibang mas vocal pa sa akin and. Besides, we have to uh, make people realize that uh, Edsa Wan was really an error. Mm -hmm. The greatest error in our history. Okay. So, uh, uh, and, and that uh, I, 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 I want to explain to the people that Ninoy Aquino is a traitor and not a hero. Okay. So, uh, uh, let us uh, stop si na. Si Ninoy uh, ay traidor at komunista. Attorney Gadon, uh, I have to stop you already there because this will be another topic uh, altogether. Uh, so, uh, we'd like to thank you. Maraming maraming uh, thank salamat, Attorney Gadon. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to be uh, a yes, guest in this and, uh, and, very and because nice of, program. Thank you very much. And because of that, we will uh, guest you again. Marami uh, okay. ka nang uh, nakaabang dito. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, dito po nagtatapos ang latest episode ng Hot Seat. Ako po ang inyong lingkod, Kim Bernardo Lokin. Magbabalik ang Hot Seat next week.